Hi there, Mark here with another Yuhi Zebra tutorial for ADSR. Today I'm going to show you how to use the split function in Zebra. This refers to the functions that you can use under the oscillator section. And what it does is it allows you to split your keyboard into two. Now, as always, to keep up with all of the videos that we're doing, please join the ADSR YouTube page. That's the address right there. Basically, that's just so that you don't miss any videos that we put up. You can do this with loads of stuff. I'm just going to show you how to do it with a kick, uh, sorry, with a bass sound and a lead sound. But you can do it with any type of sound you wish. Now, one of the best reasons for doing this is if you're a keyboard player, you can play the bass with your left hand and you can play the lead in with your right hand and it gives it it makes it easier to play in if you're a keyboard player. It gives you more flow, it's more organic, it's more human. But also it will help you save CPU as well so that you don't have to have a Zebra open for every single sound that you want to use. Now the drawback to this is, of course, if you have two sounds in the one pa uh, patch, you really need to think about EQing, compressing, stuff like that. So, for instance, if, if I if I if I have a dual sound and I add effects, those effects will both they will affect both the sounds. So, what is this one? So that um, oscillator two here is playing that lead sound. Whereas oscillator one is playing the bass sound. So all I've done is created my two different sounds. Just play that with a kick so you can hear it. So how do we go about that? Okay, so once you've got your two sounds on each lane or channel or track, you would go, then go into the oscillator settings and set these up. So as you can see, the bass one, which is oscillator one, is playing on the lower half of the keyboard. The lead sound, which is oscillator two, is playing on the higher part of the keyboard. Now what that does is allows you to have the bass sound low And you assign the cutoff of the keyboard so as of C3 and above it's there's nothing playing. So that's bass. Again you would create the split yourself and then from, from E really above you have the lead sound and that's them both playing together. about this? Well, it is relatively easy. We'll just create another Zebra and I'll show you how it's done. So, we open Zebra up. In this instance, we have the sound. Let me just add in one of my bass patches. We'll go with that one. So we have... Now at the moment it's playing across the whole keyboard. So if we just want this one, oscillator one, to play in the lower half, all we do is drop this to wherever it is that we want the split here. So now I've made the split, so I'll just create a MIDI pattern or a MIDI editor page. And So as you, as, you, as you can see, as it goes up, it kills the sound. So again, you just select where you want your keyboard split to be. So in this instance, oscillator one is going to be here. And then you would go in and draw your bass pattern. So 
So let's say it was there, and we'll just make it a nice simple pattern. No need to overcomplicate anything. Now, if it sounds a bit odd to you, you can change your split, make it a little bit higher. If you need more of the keyboard, you can obviously make changes in your synth. So, for instance, the tuning here is down. So I can put the tuning back up and then find the proper. So if that's the one I wanted. Okay, that sounds good. And then what we would do is just turn these off or leave them on and just turn the volume down. And then turn the volume up on the next section. Add your new oscillator, so oscillator 2, and then create the sound that you want to use for your, your lead sound. So, in this instance, we'll just, I'll just turn these off so they're not in the mode. Just, just doing a quick sound here. Uh, let's try that. That, oh, 2, 1, yeah, that's right. And then, in oscillator 2, you would create, now, the bass is playing in this section here, so we don't want that section in the in the uh, oscillator 2. So what we would do in oscillator 2 is just do that. Again, it's up to you the cut that you use. So now I have to move this up. So... Okay, that's turned down. Obviously, we don't want to hear that. So, where is our lead? Our lead sound. Okay, so let's say it's here now. If we've got what we've got our bass on E, so let's make a little tune on E. Again, if you're using what I just done there, the duplicate command, you've got to be careful. So once you've got your pattern in, we'll just use that now to just to get the sound right. Because we've made this split, that now means that when these are played, they will play together. Obviously, you need to remember what you've done in your synthesis here. So we now have those two. And obviously you would take more time creating a better lead pattern than I've done here. Okay, so if you listen to this, it will sound very weird. Now the reason for that, again, it's another setting in Zebra. If you go to Global and make sure it's on polyphonic so that it can play all the notes at once, because obviously there's notes being triggered at the same time, now it should sound okay.
doing here is actually just utilising the fact that you can spot the keyboard for either those of you who like to be able to play your bass and your lead sound at the same time, or those of you that don't have a particularly tricky computer, you can utilise this by only open, having to open the one zebra to do two sounds. By doing that, you're saving CPU. So there you have it, a nice short one, but it's a very useful tool. Especially, as I say, if you're a keyboard player and you like to be able to play in tandem with two different sounds, there you go. Just split your keyboards up. And, of course, you can do it with four oscillators, so you could have the keyboard split up into four different things. What's that use for, you might, useful for, you might ask? What about drums? You could have all your drums on different sections of your keyboard and then you could play patterns in. It really is up to you. So experiment. And don't forget to subscribe to www.zebratutorials.com for even more videos. I hope you learned something from this and I shall see you in the next video.